Katie, thank you very much for coming. And I will say you are the first person to be in, um, interviewed for Project Inspire, so thank you. Could you just tell us who you work for and what your job title is? Um, so I'm an environmental consultant and I specialise in water quality assessments and geomorphology. And geomorphology is the uh, study of river landforms and um, sediment in rivers. So basically how rivers change in shape over space and time. And I work in a civil engineering consultancy. Um, so civil engineering... Um, are civil engineers are, are people who design infrastructure and infrastructure is stuff like railways and roads, buildings, bridges, flood defences, the things you see around you. I basically have to make sure that the things that get designed by the engineers in the office um, are not in any way damaging for the environment. So in terms of like water quality, we have to make sure that the, there are no harsh chemicals or substances that end up in the water that would be harmful for things like fish um, and other things that live in water. Um, so that's one part of it. And then also we need to make sure that things that, that get designed and built don't um, negatively affect the, the natural way the river flows. So okay. they don't damage the bed or the banks of the river. That's called morphology of rivers. So we make sure that the morphology is kept as natural as possible and that has positive effects for the things in the river, like the fish. So there are legal requirements. We have to make sure that we don't damage protected species, protected rivers, protected land. Um, so legally, we have to make sure that our designs Okay. are yes. environmentally sensitive. So sometimes we can be seen as a little bit of an irritation because we can come along and make them change their designs and they don't always get what they want. Is it possible to describe a typical day or a typical week, bear in mind that obviously some jobs are a little bit varied? I work in an office and I do typical office hours, which is uh, around 9 to 5.30. Um, I work in quite a big office. There's maybe 100 people there and and I have my own desk and on a typical day I would sort of, um, I receive a lot of emails so spend the day looking at my emails to begin with and then in a day I might have some meetings, meetings could be face to face with people or they might be yeah. online um, and then researching rivers and using maps, using aerial photography, stuff like that and then when I've done a bit of research I'll do a bit of writing. But some days um, I do get to go out on site so maybe two or three times a month if I need to go and see a river. I might go out and, and do what we call a fluvial audit, which is to look at a river, take photos of it, take photos of the riverbed, the banks, the sediment. Um, like a geography field trip. Yeah, yeah. really, like a geography yeah. field trip, which was one of my favourite things to do at school, so I get quite excited when I get to go out on site at work. Mm. Yeah, much like that though. Brilliant. What would you say is the best thing about your job? And I don't know if you've got a particular example that you can think of that you could tell everyone about. Um, so one of the, my favourite things that I've done so far in my job is a site visit that we did to Southern Ireland. So there's this town in Ireland that suffers really badly from flooding um, and they're going to what they call re-engineer the river to make it um, more natural, so sort of more natural ba bed and bank and channels. Um, at the moment it's a lot of concrete and it's been sort of modified over time and they're going to go in and make it look much more natural again. So we, we had to go to Ireland to take um, a survey of the river okay. to see what needed to be done. We were going to be providing recommendations. Um, right. yeah. So we, we were walking up and down the river, taking photos, taking measurements. Mm. Um, again, much like a geography field trip. So you can travel around a little bit. And my manager, she's been all over the world actually. Um, she spent quite a long time in the Middle East doing projects over there. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of work going on in North America at the moment. A lot of people would find that interesting to yeah. know that they could travel with it. Yeah, definitely. Brilliant. Okay, all right. Would you say you have to have any particular skills or personality traits that would suit this job or um, make it easier? So. Definitely good communication skills. We produce reports together. Mm. It's not just one person writing it like okay. an essay. We yeah. will we'll all contribute little parts to a report. Okay. Um, and also reading and writing skills. Ultimately, I do spend a lot of my day reading and then writing. Personality skills. Generally, like a willingness to learn 
genuinely most days I learn new things. I have geography textbooks on my desk and one day I'll read a report and I'll be like, what does that mean? And I have to look up stuff okay. and I, I learn on the job, um, which is really nice. Mm. Um, I learn new things every day. Right, the next question I would like to ask you is what GCSE choices were important um, for getting this job and obviously not the core subjects because everyone has to do the core subjects. So. Yeah, so, so beyond the core subjects I, I chose to take what well, probably the most obvious subject for uh, someone like me is geography. Um, and geography was my favourite subject at school anyway, so that was an easy choice for me, um, but also very relevant to what I do. Uh, I then also, I took history because I wanted to keep up my essay writing skills, and that is very important in my job now. I'm writing a lot of reports, and I, I need to know how to write a good report. My school didn't offer a subject like environmental science, but if mm. that had been something I could have taken, that would also be, would have been hugely useful. Okay, lovely, okay. The next one is what A-level choices um, did you take, take that were helpful or could you recommend to take it um, if you hadn't already taken them? So again, geography is a, a big one. Um, it was my favourite subject uh, at GCSE, still was at A-level. Um, and that I use things from A-level geography in my job now every day. So okay. yeah, the most useful subject that I could have for my job. Um, I also carried on with history. Again, it was really useful to keep up the essay writing skills. However, in hindsight, I, I wish I'd done maths. So, so my attitude to maths at school was always that it was a complete annoyance and that I was rubbish at it. <laughs> um, I didn't understand that actually maths is really useful and there would be a lot of maths in my degree at university and actually maths in my job at work. And actually there are many different types of maths, um, particularly statistics, that's something I've, I use regularly. So okay. yeah. But you can do your job without maths? Yeah, I can do. I mean, obviously there are calculators, computers, and there'll always be someone there who knows more maths yeah. than you. So I can, I, I can have there's ways around it um a hundred percent and i can make my math my job sort of more or less mathsy depending on how i want to write a report okay but um it it's something maths now is something i realize that's useful it makes you see things in different ways and i i sort of didn't really appreciate that when i was at school so okay so that's a good bit of advice there yeah for people listening probably a fairly important question is what degree did you take um, so obviously this is probably going to be quite helpful for the job that you decided to do. So Yeah, so my degree was actually really important for my job, probably the main reason I got my job. Um, and my degree was a BSc in Geography. Okay. Um, and Geography at university is quite a broad ranging subject. Uh, if you choose to study it, you'll realise when you get there you have a lot of choice. Um, geography is always split into human and physical, it still is at university. Um, but I completely specialised in physical geography at university, so I, I ended up doing a lot of, of study of water, rivers, uh, glaciers, um, climate change, stuff like that. Um, and and these were your choices, yeah. were they? Some of the modules that you chose? Yeah, I absolutely chose to do yeah. all of that. You can choose to do completely different things with geography. You can do much more social, economic, cultural type stuff. Mm. Um, but no, I really, I like to keep it science-y. Um, and that was what I did. It, it, it ended up having, there was quite a lot of maths in my degree, mm. um, much to my surprise. Okay. But that I really, I ended up really enjoying actually. Um, yeah, and a, a lot about rivers, which is why my degree is so useful for my job okay. now. So you, you could have chosen to do an arts degree yeah. or a science degree with this geography, depending on what modules you chose at university. Yeah, so in first yeah. year, a lot, of, a lot of geography degrees, wherever you go, your first year is what we call like a foundation year. You do a lot of human and physical, which okay. is what you do at school in geography as well. Um, you get to do a bit of both and it helps you to realise which you prefer. And I realised that that I didn't, I didn't like the the art side of it as much. Okay. So I decided to to go with more physical geography. Um, but you can do a bit of both through, throughout the whole degree if you want. It's, there's a lot of choice with a geography degree, which okay. makes it a really good degree to do. But presumably, the bits that you chose were suitable for your job. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. The final question is: What volunteer work or job did you do? 
to, the, um, to help you become a graduate environmental consultant or work experience or whatever? So when I was at school, um, I was about, it was about 16 and, and I thought, right, I, I don't really know what it's like to have a job. Um, I'm going to try and get some work experience. Um, I decided to email around. I literally searched on Google for um, planning work experience, um, planning literally because my dad did it at the time and I thought I'll, I'll try that, it's an office job, yeah. um, I know I know a bit about planning, I'll, I'll try that and I was lucky enough to get a week at a planning consultancy. I went back and did another week in year 13 and then um, actually when I finished school I didn't want to go straight to university, I wanted to have a gap year and I was offered to go back and do some more work at the same consultancy and I did and I, I did a few months there and um, although planning isn't what I do now, um, this work experience really enabled me to find out what working in an office was like and consultancy and sort of when, when something needs to be built, the process that goes around that. Um, when I ended up applying for my job, I had this work experience on my CV and I got asked about it. They wanted to know mm. what I'd done and and I suppose it showed that I was capable of working in an office and I was capable of that type of work. Mm. So even though it wasn't specifically environmental, mm. I think it definitely counted mm. for something. Katie, I'd just like to say thank you so much for coming and volunteering to do this interview. And no I, I really hope that it's been helpful to all the kids out there who are trying to choose which pathway to take in their lives. Yeah, okay. I all right. So too. Thank you. Thank you. All right.